Indonesia is a country with many cultures and natures. Of course, it keeps its own uniqueness compared to other countries. One of them is about various traditional games. A variety of traditional games were so popular in the past. Because in those days, the era was not yet modern as in now. Where now almost all the games can be played on just a smartphone. Just imagine back in the 90s, from kids to adults, they were played that traditional game. And they got impression that can't be forgotten until now. To remember the heyday of that traditional game, I will give you some of traditional games from Indonesia. Let's play! Bola Bekel or Bekel Ball is a game that's very popular until now. This game is not easy as you imagine. There are some things that need to be prepared to play it. The first is a ball, and there's a seat called Bekel. This game has several steps. Taking one by one seats, then flip the other seats to curve shape, then turn the buckle in the opposite shape. Just like what was done in sequence until completing all the steps. This game is still played until today and throughout Indonesia, even though each region has a different name. Enkle is a played by boys and girls and can be played by two or more people. But not too many people because to play it must wait for their turn. And if there are many who play, it will wait for a long time. Try to play by drawing boxes in the background. There are nine boxes consisting of three horizontal boxes, then connected three vertical boxes. After that, add one box on the top and finally two horizontal boxes. One by one players jump over the box from the beginning to the end. Must use one foot to jump and if you fall, then you must put a stone in one of the last boxes as a sign to start your turn. In this game begins with sweet or home pimpa to determine who loses first. After that the loser will become pa ampo who lies face down in the middle and the other kids will sit around pa ampo. Then those kids open their hands facing up and place them on pa ampo's back. There is one of the children holding the seeds and transfer from one hand to another with the song Jubla Jubla Suwa. In the lyrics of Pungguyu Dele is a sign that the seeds must be hidden immediately by the kid who receive it. At the end of the song, all the kids hold each other's hands, pretending to hide the seeds. While moving their hands, Pampo gets up and guesses in whose hand the seeds are hidden. If the guess is right, the kid who grabs the seeds turns into Pampo. If wrong, Pampo returns to his original positions and the game is repeated again. This game called Dakon or Chongkla. This game has also been known by all regions in Indonesia. Chongkla seats made from coral shells. Some are using stones or sapodila seeds and contain 98 pieces. Then using chonklak sports containing 16 holes. And chonklak sports are made of plastic, but some are made of wood. This game can only played by two people. If there is a winner, then the player must take all the seats from one of the holes and the seats are filled one by one to the predetermined hole from the left or right until the seats ran out and after that take all the seats from last place they were played and so on until who gets the most seats then he or she who wins this lompatali or jump rope can use rubber or rope we can make our own rope with rubber 
by connecting one by one to the length of the rubber and then tied the ends. This game can be played by two people up to more than ten. There are two people who hold the strings so they don't break. How to place toying for the rope at the bottom or knee, then we jump. After that, the rope is raised to the waist, chest, shoulders, then up to the head, and we have to jump on the rope. If the person can jump the rope, he or she must change the positions of the people who are holding the rope. Gundu is the marbles and is usually played by boys. Yay! <laughs> if our marbles touch the opponent's marbles, the opponent's marbles will be ours. These games can be played by two people up to seven people. Next game is a slaybore. How to play by determining who is the guardians of two people. After being determined to be a guard, the rest of the people line up with their hands, put on shoulders of their front mates, then walk in the circle past the guards. While walking, singing the slaybore song until it's finished. If the singing is over, then the guard catches one person and the person who is caught must get out of the lines and choose the choice of the guardians. So, those are some of traditional games that were very popular at that time. The meaning or the name of that traditional games in each area may be different from what I've said. Don't forget to give me ideas in the comment sections below. Hopefully from this video can bring you memories of the games that we played before. And moreover, become knowledge for present and next generation. See you in the next video.